All right, thank you very much, Chris. Sarah, for you, what are the main themes you take away from this season for the Brooklyn Nets? I think the biggest thing that we saw down the final few weeks of the season, really since the All-Star break, was the jumps that the team was able to take. There was tangible improvement yep. when you look at numbers, when you look at the style of play, the way in which the team was able to come together. Uh, unfortunate way things played out in this final game of the season, but you got to get that out of your mind and look overall the type of development. And I think we saw individual development but we also saw collective development. And when you can look back at a season and think over the course of the injuries that they dealt with, yep. different players being in and out, different lineups, the point that they're at, I think the Nets should feel very good about their growth throughout the year and what they have heading into the offseason. Big picture, uh, no doubt that Jared Allen is a huge part of the future for this team. D'Angelo Russell, part of that equation as well. Karis Levert. Rondé Hollis Jefferson certainly proved his worth this year and then a lot of decisions that have to be made regarding personnel. Uh, there are certain contracts that the Nets are going to have as part of this team and those players are going to be on the roster unless Sean Marks looks to make deals but the draft such a significant part of this process and of course free agency trying to find some gems out there if you're the GM and the assistant GM Trajan Langdon. In, in figuring out exactly what you want to do in terms of players that you have developed yep. and you want to keep and keep as a part of your core and to your point and it's exciting for the Nets that they do have first round pick second round picks that's going to be an important aspect of how they want to build and I think when you look and you bring up the core players that we saw and a Karis Levert and a Jared Allen and a D'Angelo Russell just the strides that they take have taken so I think you understand how the group wants to play the type of players that you want to bring in and for Sean Marks we've seen him continue to get more comfortable and settled into yep. the type of organization he wants to have the way he wants the roster to look at and just the continued synergy between he and Kenny Atkinson yep. and how they've developed such a great relationship and working together. Well, that's been such a key word, culture for this team. Uh, they recognize that things needed to change, and they have changed. If you're behind the scenes with this squad, you can see it in the way this team goes about its business, on the road, the travel, uh, the chemistry that has been formed. But there's no doubt fans want to see wins they want to see improvement this was an eight game improvement from a 20 win season last year to 28 wins this season now the question mark moving forward is what's the next step and i think it's it's the type of players that you're going to continue to get in and i think that's the next step the type of talent can we improve our talent i know going into this season sean marks was very clear in saying it was all about talent acquisition it yep. was less about positionally based and what type of needs they had and more about bringing in the best type of players they can have. So will they continue to do that? Who will they continue to identify as players that they need to help make that next step? And can the players that they do have make another jump? Can Karis LeVert make another jump? Can Jared Allen make another jump? D'Angelo Russell, some of these players, they've continued to show some flashes, but can they get that to the next level? Because they need to be not good, but be continue to become great. Great being with you. And great being with all of you as well.